Hello, hello, I'm Alison from Bag Lady Bird Learn to Sew. Welcome. Today I am going to show you my new favourite way to hem knit garments. So, um, there is more, more than one way to skin a cat and there's not just one way to hem knit garments. So, um, you need to have a few different techniques in your arsenal, but this is one that I have just recently discovered, or a stitch that I've just recently discovered on my Janome 725. And I'd like to share it with you and show you what a lovely finish it gives to your knit garment hems. So this is the paper cut pattern Solar T, and it's got these lovely little sleeve frills, um, which are hemmed, and then the hems on the sleeves themselves and the hem on the bottom. And I have used this technique for all those three areas of hems and I'm going to show you how now. Okay, so I just want to show you this new, my new favourite stitch for hemming jerseys. So this t-shirt is, well this garment here is the t-shirt, is a t-shirt. It is the paper cut pattern solar tee and this has a, a sleeve frill, a frill around the, the um, shoulder seam the armhole seam. So I have hemmed this edge of the frill with this stitch um, just with a small hem there and it seems to hold in place really well. I have also used the same stitch around the sleeve hem Again, looks great. I have also used it on the t-shirt hem itself um, and gives a really fab effect. So the stitch looks a little bit like a cover stitch. Um, so if you look at some of your garments, uh, some of your shop-bought garments, what you will find is um, some may have a, a stitch that looks a little bit like this, either on the inside of some of the seams or hems or on the outside and it would usually have a twin needle um, on the other side. So I'm going to show you how to get this effect and I think it looks really professional um, with your Janome 725S machine or any other machine that has this stitch. Which I am talking about is stitch H here. Um, so it's the faux overlock stitch if you like. So I'll change the dial here to H on H and the lower dial here I need to change to SS but I want to be on the minus part of the SS. If you're on the plus side the stitches are too stretched out. So what would you get if you're on the plus side is more of this effect um, which is the same stitch but more stretched out. Um, just doesn't look as effective. What I have done is I've just taken this piece of jersey and I have gone and pressed it over by one inch. So you want to press a relatively large hem on a knit garment. If you don't press a big enough hem, if you don't use a big enough hem allowance, um, your hem will always flip up to the outside on the outside of your garment. Um, so you, you show the inside of the hem rather than the outside. So I'm using a contrasting colour thread just so you can see more easily what is happening here. Um, and I'm going to sew the hem at two centimetres. So it means that I not only have I got all the... Uh, it means that I've got both layers of fabric included in the stitch. Just helps the stitch hold its shape a little bit. So I'll start at this edge here. Needle down into the fabric. Ooh, it's stormy out there today. Um, and off we go. So it's a relatively slow stitch because it zigzags back and forth. Um, you can see the lights flashing here, it's the storms outside. So you just allowing the machine to pull it through at the correct speed, making sure that you're lined up with the correct line. So I'm on the two centimeter line or six eighths. 
So I've pressed over two and a half centimeters or one inch. And we'll just stitch this around here. So you could do this on any, any jersey hem. It's really nice and stretchy. So you're not gonna accidentally snap your stitches because the stitches will stretch with your fabric. The fabric I'm using here is a cotton lycra from Made My Wardrobe. It's absolute gorgeous organic cotton. Um, there we go. So contrasting, you can see that really well. Um, it has stretched the fabric as I've sewn a little bit. Um, you can see on the back some parts of the hem are slightly above it, but that's all right. That's not a problem. So to, to get this where it has stretched out, to get it back in, I'm just going to go and steam that, hold the steam iron over it, um, and it'll shrink back with a nice steamy iron that has deposited some lime scale on my fabric, but it is... Um, shrunk back where the fabric had stretched out and we've got a nice flat seam so i hope you've enjoyed this method this technique and let me know if you use it um, or if you have a, another technique you like for sewing hems on knit or jersey fabric don't forget to click subscribe to the channel for more great learn to sew content to help make you become a better dressmaker